What is up, you beautiful people? Welcome back to Built on Bitcoin, the podcast for the open-minded Bitcoiner. And this is this Week in Stacks episode. So we're covering everything going on in the past week or so in Stacks. I am your humble host, Jacob Brown, which will see me around as Jake Blockchain on the interwebs. And yeah, we got a bunch to cover this week. We got a new clarity tutorial out from pointer.gg, new Byzantian hire, some new gamma tools, a new stacks blog, the hero smart contract of the month with Joseph Bender, some stuff from hero that came out, a new feature on the stacks explorer that you should check out. And as usual, the content creators like myself drop some heat as well as some of the big players around the ecosystem. So we're going to cover that. But first, but first, let me give a quick shout out to my sponsor, the Stacks Foundation. And yeah, if you hear this stuff, you like what's going on in Stacks, you maybe you want to help unleash Bitcoin, but you want a career change, you're not a coder or you're in Web 2, want to jump into Web 3, you'll be learning clarity if you want to build here. It's it's how the smart contracts are built. We, there's a big need for clarity devs right now. So if you want to make the jump and get started and uh, get your hands dirty doing some dev stuff, start.stacks.org is a great first resource. They, they point you in a one, two, three, four, five step fashion. So you can kind of pick your level of advancement and uh, you know, learn the basics, maybe join Clarity Camp and learn with a cohort or apply for a grant and get some funding to build something. So I highly recommend if you want to get started, start.stacks.org. Okay, so let's jump right in to this week in Stacks episode, starting off with pointer.gg. So if you're not familiar, pointer.gg is a Web3 education platform. So they give you interactive uh, tooling and education, kind of like Code Academy does, uh, but they focus on Web3. And so they have a new tutorial for Clarity. And the example they give you is to build your own decks. So think like Alex, where you can create a token like the Alex token, and you could swap it for stacks. You're going to build the infrastructure to create your own token, the Bob token, and then swap it for stacks on testnet uh, and basically create all the contract code to build your own decentralized exchange. And currently, if you jump on it quick, it's only been live for roughly a week or so, uh, there's some stacks to be won. So the top five projects will get some stacks as a reward for what they built. So that's hype. Love to see that. Um, so you can check that out. The link is in the description. Next up, Byzantian, uh, big NFT marketplace. Maybe the biggest on, on stacks. It's hard to tell at this point. I think it's neck and neck. Uh, but Byzantine hired a new backend dev, uh, a senior software engineer named Oleg Agafonov. I might have got that wrong. Apologies, my G. But uh, yeah, so he he's coming in as a backend dev. And it sounds like his main kind of like uh, skill set is unifying data models. So you're taking a bunch of data from different resources and then putting them into a, a data set that can be I guess, uh, red in different ways. So this will be helpful as Byzantine goes cross chain. You can take in stuff from Stacks or Near or anything in the future and then still display it in things like Trader View, where you can look at one collection page and see, okay, cool, Solana is selling more than it is on Stacks. So maybe I'll bridge my NFT over to Solana and go make some more coin, stuff like that. So they're really pushing the boundary and uh, going bleeding edge with what NFT marketplace does and can be expected to do. So shout out to them. They are crushing it. I love how they're just in their lane uh, making shit happen. Okay. Speaking of NFTs on that same topic, we got some new news from Gamma. Um, they've been really focused on creator tools lately. And so they released some new stuff for creators. Um, so if you go to create.gamma.io, it's a different part of the website. It used to be just more like backend tools, but now it's got this whole, it's beautiful, we designed. And now you can see all the smart contracts that have been deployed, they're attached to your wallet address. So if you've minted multiple collections, you can see all the ones that are currently attached to your BNS name. Uh, you can access common NFT functions like airdropping tokens to a whitelist or pausing a mint and toggling it on and off, then making that easier and easier to access. 
as well as uh, the process to add NFTs to a continuous collection is way easier now. Drag and drop, add it, good to go. The auctions page have been revamped. And then for advanced users, they made it easier to access all the contract calls and functions you want to do inside a contract. So this is dope. I and mean, the cool thing about that too is there's a certain function, like four functions down, it does a certain thing, and you want to share that with someone, the links will auto-update. So when you copy and paste that, it'll go to that exact function. So people, it's going to make it a lot harder for people to mess things up as long as you're on the right, right page, right function. So that's dope. Uh, next up, stacks.co slash blog. That's now a resource you can go to. Uh, Mitchell is currently heading it up, but he's trying to find collaborators and admins and moderators to make this a central resource for staying updated on Stacks. So just like how I do this with the podcast, I try to give you an update in 10 minutes or less, and uh, you can just pop in, put your AirPods in, and know the latest. He's trying to do that with longer form written content where you go to stacks.co slash blog and you can see Arcadico's newsletter, Megapont's newsletter, whatever it is, all in ascending fashion from newest to oldest uh, of whatever's going on. So if you write content or maybe you want to participate and moderate, uh, hit up Mitchell. He's he's looking for people. But also if you want to stay updated and you don't like the sound of my voice, you can go to stacks.co slash blog and uh, see it all there now too. All right, so we got some news from directly from Hero. They're doing a good content push lately, which is dope to see. And they have a smart contract of the month they've been doing. So last month, it was the U2 Songs of Innocence contract that can't leave your wallet. And uh, now it is the Send Many Memo contract. So this contract... Is basically how you send stacks or some token to a bunch of people in one transaction. So instead of sending, you know, ten transactions to ten people, I can just put all the wallet addresses in one uh, transaction, submit it, and everyone will get whatever I say in that contract. So super useful. Uh, and he breaks down the functions involved, which is there's only four functions in that, and how it works. All right. On that same note, hero dropped something called stacks.js starters, which allows you to uh, take some, it gives you basically boilerplate code, is my understanding, to connect your uh, Stacks app to a front end as easy as possible. So they give you the basic codes to connect to a React app or a Vue app or something else. So basically, for those that aren't too devy, and I'll do my best here, but basically you have a bunch of backend code that is like the logic of how something runs and then you connect it to a front end, which is the graphical things that you'll interact with. And so people have expertise in front end or back end, and then smart contracts is just kind of this middle layer. And uh, if you're more back end focused or clarity focused and you have been struggling with trying to get the front end stuff done, this will help you get off the ground easier and quicker. So they'll give you some basic code to uh, get you off the ground. All right, and next up from Hero, last little bit from them. They were hot this week. Uh, they dropped a video. This was with Pravithra. Sorry if I got your name wrong, but she is a distributed systems engineer at Hero. And they put out a video showing how an NFT asset, an NFT token, will interact with a hyperchain smart contract. And so it shows you like six different steps of how to mint the NFT, how the contracts work on the stacks up main chain and the hyperchain, how to move the asset over to hyperchain, and how to bring it back. So if you're curious about how this is going to work, uh, or again, as a dev, maybe if you want to go and go where the puck is going and be a hyperchain integrator and start to get the ball rolling on how that's going to work, how you can help people uh, with this new layer, uh, this seems like a good video to get started on. All right, a couple more updates, then we'll close this baby out. There's a new feature on the Stacks Explorer, where if you scroll to the bottom of a transaction, and it might just be microblocks, I haven't confirmed, but uh, you can scroll to the bottom of a transaction and you can see what Stacks block and Bitcoin block that transaction is in. So you can see the chain of where it's currently at and which ones they're linked to and the next two blocks previously. So now you can see visually 
a better representation of the stacks to Bitcoin connection. And you can click on the Bitcoin block. It'll take you to blockchain.com. And you can see the uh, some data on the actual Bitcoin chain. Or you can click into the stacks block and get some data on that block as well. So that's great. Uh, super cool to see. All right. Last but not least, to all my fellow creators, uh, there's new episodes. So myself with the Built on Bitcoin podcast, I had an interview with Chan On, who is the chief technical officer at Alex. And uh, yeah, we talk about a bunch. We talk about his previous history as a finance guy, but he also has a degree in computer science. And so the jump from doing derivatives to being a CTO, I thought it was a little weird at first. So I had some questions about that, but we go into that. We talk about uh, the nature of money and the credit and debit system. And does Bitcoin change that calculus? And a bunch of other topics, how to hire a good team. Just we go all the place. So fantastic, fantastic interview. Uh, appreciate him coming on. Also, the airdrop show, they had a interview with Jessica Greenwald, which I can't speak to the specifics because I haven't watched that one. But Jessica is a creative director at Vayner3, which is the Web3 focused spinoff at uh, Gary V's company. But also she's an NFT artist. She's done a few drops on Stacks and uh, has one of my favorite pieces personally. Uh, it's been it's been minted back when Hey Layer did their Satoshi drop. I think it was December. Uh, she did a piece called "The Queen of Coins." Yeah, the Queen of Coins, which I'll uh, I'll drop on the video right now if you're watching it here. But you can also go to my Twitter because I just posted it. Uh, but love that piece. Just super super dope to me. So you can check that one out. Uh, yeah, and then last but not least, there's a video from Gina Abrams and Munib stacker chats and they talk about dan held joining the bitcoin ecosystem with trust machines as a marketing partner so that's it that is this week in stacks i love y'all and i'll see you in the next episode peace Welcome to Built on Bitcoin. I know that things don't always go your way, but I'll be right here waiting. I've been waiting now, I've been trying to figure out a way to make it out, make it out, cause I don't think about everything.